Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the firmware on your Share Center NAS. Now the first thing you need to do to upgrade the firmware is download the firmware file. Now the firmware files can be downloaded from our support website. So what you want to do is open up your web browser and up in the address bar, you're going to type in support.dlink.ca. Now from the support site in the search box here, you just want to go ahead and search for your NAS. So I'm going to be upgrading the firmware on the DNS 325. So I'm just going to enter that model number here, hit search. I'm going to select the product. And then from the downloads tab, you want to just go down to where it shows you the firmware and download it. Now when you're downloading the file, you're going to want to save it somewhere where you can easily find it. So I'm going to be saving it to my desktop. And then once the firmware is finished downloading, the next thing you want to do is log into your NAS. Now, if you're not sure how to log into your NAS, please check out our other videos. So once you've logged into your NAS, you want to click on the management tab at the top and then click on the system management icon. And then finally on the left hand side, you want to click on where it says firmware upgrade. All right. From there, you just want to click on the browse button and we need to now select the firmware file that we just downloaded. So I have it here on my desktop. I'm just going to click on it and then click on the apply button. Now, before you upgrade the firmware on the NAS, it's suggested to back up any data that you have on your drives. This just keeps you safe in the event of a hardware failure or if something happens during the firmware upgrade. The last thing that you want to do is lose your files. So it is suggested if possible to back up your data. Now, with that said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply that new firmware onto the device. Now, depending on the version that you're upgrading to, this process may take a few minutes to complete. You want to make sure you do not power off or reboot the NAS while the upgrade is being processed. Doing so could damage the device. Now, once the firmware has finished upgrading, you just want to click on the yes button and then the device will reboot to finish the install. Again, make sure you don't power off or reboot the NAS during this process. All right, when the countdown's complete, it should take you right back to your login page for your NAS. And then once you log back in, again, you can click on the management tab, click on system management, firmware upgrade, and it should show you you're at the current firmware version. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.